Hello everybody and welcome back to Melbury Estate. We are going to be doing a bit of harvesting today of the sugar beet. Uh, not what I initially planned though, I was planning on actually starting a different map today. However, there's a few things that need to be finalised and also my download failed. So I'm going to have to retry re my download first. So probably tomorrow or the next day we'll be starting the new map um, if all goes to plan. But today we are obviously back on Melbury Estate. Not what I was going to do but there you go. Still good though, I love this map and I've been wanting to do some sugar beet harvesting for a while. I uh, also want to do some potato harvesting at some point as well. We'll have to do that before we finish the map. I uh, don't think we have any planted at the moment though. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're just taking the TM320S to the, the silage here because our other loader has obviously gone. That was on higher because we need to rent the sugar beet harvesters. No way we can afford them or it, depends how many we get, um, and I've kind of decided against the rope, but I've not ruled it out. I think what I'll do is we'll start with the big field, and we'll do that with the stock machinery, and then we will get the roper for the smaller field which we planted the other day. But I'm told that the roper has got a few issues. I don't know if it's been rectified or not, however, it seems to have a tendency to remove vehicles from your save game. You can lose all your vehicles. Um, apparently Landy Kid had a problem with it as well. He's a very good YouTuber. I recommend checking out his channel as well. Um, yeah, apparently he had a problem where it just seems to remove all of your vehicles from your save game. So that has sort of persuaded me not to get it. Um, but I think we will do just for the final field because it won't be as important then if we lose everything. Uh, so just for now we'll be using the normal stock equipment but then we will give it a go at a later date whenever that field is ready. But I think it's about £36,000 to rent which is what we've got now. Uh, obviously we don't want to be bankrupt so we're going to have to keep selling. We do also have some grain as well which needs to be sold. We could sell that, but I'm hoping this silage here will be enough. It's a shame that we, we lost the other machine because that was very handy for doing this. Much bigger bucket capacity. Probably do a few more and then we'll go and buy our sugar beet harvester. Okay, so that's £72,000. One more and that should be plenty. We've obviously already got all the trailers and stuff, so that's not a problem. It's just the harvesters. We'll have to play in real time because otherwise we're going to really lose out, wasting valuable rent time. There we go, 79,000, that's plenty. So we'll just put this back over here. We're going to rent two because it is quite a big field. That also gives me a, a bigger job as well because Usually you're waiting for a very long time for the harvesters to fill up and if you've got two on the go it's going to mean there's a lot more tractor driving for us. Just in a bit of processing there. Okay then, here we are in the first sugar beet harvester. The second one is following. It should follow our route without crashing. The only problem is we need to wait for a gap for two harvesters to be able to pull out. Very hard to see. Seems to be all okay. We could have the tractor on the follow me, but I think it'd probably make it a bit too complicated. It'd probably go and crash. Oh, better put the beacons on. So this is our field here. I don't know if this is the, the right way to go. I don't know where the entrance is for it. I'm sure we'll find one. Oh, there's one over there. Hopefully that's not the only entrance. Otherwise we're gonna have to turn this thing around.
but that is a big field for sugar beet. It's not very big if you're doing it with a combine harvester, but for sugar beet, that's going to take a long time. Looks like you can get through via that field over there, so we could just cut across. It's not our field, but so we could give it a go. I'm sure they won't come running out with shotguns. I do love the, the very tight rear wheel steer on the sugar beet harvesters. Yeah, that one didn't quite master it. But that's not a problem because we still have to set this one up first anyway. Uh, the best place to start, I don't know. We should probably start doing a headland. I would have thought. So we'll get it started. And then we can get the second one started. The thing I'm wanting to do here is do an entire headland probably three times round and then have one of them on the left side of the field and the other one on the other side of the field because that way they're not going to crash into each other continually getting in each other's way and also it gives me more work to do I don't really want to be sitting around all day because they're not exactly the fastest things to fill take a while. Trees, that's going to be an issue, unless there's no collision. Okay, so the other harvester is now on a worker, while we get this one set up. The only thing I'm worried about here is if we start now, when that one comes back round again, it's going to get to a dead end and it will probably just stop working. So really, we should go behind it. It does make it quite difficult just for the first headland or two. I don't know. Maybe if we just sort of blend it in. That's probably the best way of doing it. If we gradually cut in, it might manage to turn. Hopefully. The other one's 25%, so it's getting on okay. We will have to go and get the tractor, of course. Very good opportunity to use the Stuart trailer again. Hopefully we can get this on a worker. Yep, good. So let's find a decent tractor. Oh, might as well use this one. It's already on it. But it is a long way away. <laughs> it's right over here again. Not to worry. We've just got a little bit of driving to do. Can you even go right out of here? You might be able to. Yeah, I reckon if we go right and then just keep going on this road, we will probably end up at the field, looking at the map. I very rarely go this way. bit muddy. And there's our field there. So it did work. The road is just a loop. 
We should probably go around the, the correct way this time. I don't think they've been round again yet, so we're going to have to wait and see if they can actually do it. This is the first harvester. I can't see why I wouldn't be able to do it, because you can see how I've blended it in, so it can just follow the line. Good, it seems to be doing it. So we'll continue, we're going the right way this time, instead of through next door's field. Uh, it should be good timing anyway, because on 76%, it'll probably be full when it gets to the bottom of here. And we also need to work out where you take it to. I'm hoping to just sell it straight off the field, rather than just put it into storage. Mainly because we're desperate for money. Okay, so it's got its beacons on. Not too far off. We will probably unload going down that bottom section. Turns out it's actually going to fill the trailer and it's still not empty. Okay, so we can't go far. We could probably do with more than one carter here. So let's just see. Sugar beet. Oh, good, the price is on the up. Not very good price though. Station. Just the station. Which is uh, not too far away. So we'll have to go up there then. So it's back with the way we came. up here oh, so it's going through a housing estate I've probably gone the wrong way where am I going I have no idea what I'm doing here I think I've gone in the wrong way. Ah. There. That place there. I've just missed the turning. I didn't realise it was going to be quite so tight. It does seem very tight around here. Good job we didn't come in a lorry we would have never have got out again. Uh, was it in here? I 
It says station, but it looks more like a pub. Buying sugar beet. Uh, both the harvesters are almost full. Let me have to keep up with this. This is not going well. I've probably ended up going to the wrong place entirely. Although it does seem to be taking it. So, I don't know what's going on there. Not what I was expecting. I'm good, just going to check that just once more. So, station says sugar beet. Okay, yeah, that seems to be right. And then, yeah, I'm at the station, so not really much I can do. It's just the way it is. I don't think we can really have a bigger machine than this. So, both the harvesters are pretty much full. One is full. Which means we're probably going to have to just take it to the farm. Which is not what I wanted to do. But at the rate they're filling up now, I'm saying that they're going to take a long time, but now they're simply filling up really quickly. Uh, we're, we're not going to be able to keep up with them. So, looks like we're just going to have to take it to the farm. I think the best bet is just to half empty them. So I half fill the trailer from this one and then half fill it again from the other one. That way they keep moving. price for sugar beet was better, we would be raking it in. Okay, so weirdly I can't actually find a storage point for the sugar beet. Looked it up and apparently there's one near the composting machine, the yard nearest to there, but I didn't find it, so looks like we're going to have to keep bringing it to here. It would be much easier if there weren't all these pedestrians on the road. seems to be the only place you can take it to, but I might be wrong. It's unfortunate that we can't put more in and we can't really have a bigger trailer because otherwise we're not actually going to be able to fit into the cell point. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a good idea. So we're back in the second harvester here and we're going to go up and down the side of this field over here. The other one can go over the other side. So we'll get it started. We do need to change the setting though. Because currently it's on this setting. That's that one done. Now for this one, all we have to do for this one is click that and it should be fine. So we're going to go and tip this, get a bit more money for it, and then I'm going to have to think of a solution to this. 
Uh, either someone will have told me the correct place to tip it, which I'm sure there is a place, it's just I'm totally blind. Um, and also probably try and work out a bigger trailer. Obviously if there isn't a place to tip it and we have to keep taking it to this sale point, we can't really have a bigger trailer. We might be able to set up course play. The problem that course play would have is that this road here is very tight. Um, so ideally I wouldn't want to use course play. I'd rather use a bigger trailer. I'm sure if you've played on this map a lot you'd already know where the storage point is so if you do know I'd be very grateful to, uh, to know where it is. But otherwise that is it for today. I know it's been a bit complicated, a bit more complicated than I thought it would be. Uh, but yep, there we go. Thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you'll join me in the next episode and also in the next map coming soon. So thanks for watching and bye for now.